Hi, this is the second lesson of a straight line graphs pack. Uh, like I said before, if you look it up anyway, it'll come under coordinate geometry. This and the circles pack tends to go together as coordinate geometry, but we've split it up. Right, so this is our lesson two. So let's have a look at the question then. So it says a straight line L passes through 0, 06 and has a gradient of minus 2. So straight away from that information, I know that I can make an equation of a straight line. Uh, it says it intersects the line with the equation map. Find the coordinates. So in terms of a plan, I want the equation of the line L, and then I want to solve it simultaneously. Right, I'm just going to pause the video so I need to bring up the calculator. Right then, so I'll just put a put the calculator in a minute anyway. So let's get our equation then. So I'm going to use y minus y1 is mx minus x1. So it's like y minus 6 is minus 2, x minus 0. I want it in the same form, x is y's. Well, actually, for, for uh, simultaneous equations, I want to say x is y is equals numbers. So let's have a little rearrange of this then. So that's a minus 2x, which is going to crop across here as a plus 2x. And that's a 6. I've expanded that right, haven't I? So that's one equation. Then I've got the other one, which is 5x minus 8y is equal to 15. So I'm going to do this on simultaneous equations. So let's get the calculator up then. So I want menu and equation. So menu pressed, equation, F1 for symbol. Got two unknowns, so F1 again. And then I want to put the coefficients in. Let's see my coefficients. So I want. 2, xe, 1, xe, 6, xe, does the top line. Then 5, xe, minus 8, xe, 15, does the bottom line. Then press xe again. First number is first letter. So this is telling me that the coordinates are 3, comma, 0. There we go. There, using that calculator. Right, let's go back on this one. So what time are we on? So in 2 minutes 55, I have to keep a double eye on this one because I'm in a different room. I don't know if it's got a 5 minute timer or a 10 minute timer. If it's a 5 minute timer, I'm ghost. I'm hoping it's a 10 minute timer. Right, collinearity is really important next year when we do vectors. But the idea is that all three points are on the same line. So I've got 2, 3, 4, 4, 10, 7. So what I want to see is I want to see if... 2, 3, 4, 4, and 10, 7 are on the same line. In terms of a plan, what I need is I want to work out the gradient uh, for, between two points, clearly. But what I want to do is use the same start point. So I have to have one fixed point. If that makes sense. So I'm going to use A as my fixed point. Because if the gradient's same from A to B, and the gradient's same from A to C, because you go through the same point, it must be collinear. So my gradient from A to B, so my change going up is 4 take 3, which is 1. My change going across is 4 take 2. So my gradient from A to B, is going to be a half. Then let's have a look at my gradient from A to C. So the important thing here is I have a one common point, one fixed point. Should I put common point there? Pretty common. There, keep an eye on that clock. So the change going up is 7 minus 3, which is 4. And the change going across is 10 minus 2, which is 8. So I've got 4 over 8 which is a half. 
everything we do, oh, five, I'm going after five minutes, that's good. So look, here's my little timer, five minutes. So that's good, one 10 minute videos. So everything we do, we need to kind of justify. So as MAB equals MAC, and we used the common point A, therefore, now I want to rewrite that sentence, therefore, A, B, and C. Collinear. Never really know how many L's are in collinear. Uh, there's one thing to one thing to state. If you notice how I kind of wrote out this whole thing here? That's really important. They were really picky on last year's exam in summer 2024. If that's the question, it has to be written within the answer within your write-up, your conclusion even. Right, so there's one there for you to do. So I want to show it's not collinear. So I've worked out the two gradients. The gradients aren't equal to each other. So P, Q, and R are not colon. So have a go at that. Pause it if you want. Use a complete back. Whatever. Right, let's have a look at the next page then. All right then. I've got, ooh, what have we got? I've got three and a half minutes left. I think I'll probably stop this and do it as a separate one.